Okay, just waiting for Trevor, Chris, and Mitch to go hit the trail. So just gonna warm up with a little bit of this rope. Episode one, Jim Free podcast. We're talking barefoot lifestyle, outdoor lifestyle, um, doing fun shit. <laughs> well put, well put. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, there's a lot of things that we do that don't ever make it on camera. You know, the behind the scenes that are actually like probably some of the, the, the most important things we do in our lives. Then boys is here. A rare sighting of Trevor stretching. Let's go. Yeah, so, I mean, that's kind of interesting. Like, this isn't the direction we were gonna go with this podcast, but maybe for the start, it's nice to say that, like, we really enjoy doing this stuff. Back in the wild. Head it up there. We've kind of had maybe the idea of putting it on strength side, but I just don't think it works the best. But we have so much fun, like, we're doing this, a lot of this stuff that's in the video right now, like hiking up a mountain, climbing up a mountain. You would just do that stuff anyways. Yeah, and it's really fun to share. So I think it'll be really cool on this platform to just share this type of stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. And be able to not worry about people like being like, oh, well, like, where's the stretching routine? <laughs> <laughs> and um, just Give me being. Information. Yeah, yeah, and just kind of having some fun and talking about some fun stuff. Yeah, and I think the title of the channel is very fitting because it's like we we love to do all the training stuff. Like that's that's definitely a big part of our life, but we do those things so that we could go climb a flat iron. What you looking at? She just uh just zoomed through the spot we got stuck last time. Really? Yeah. Like that's the whole point of why we do anything so we could do the fun stuff. It's like this, this is the fun stuff to me. Yeah, yeah. And I'd say for me, like uh, there's, there's a pretty large portion of my life where I kind of lost sight of that actually. And uh, it was mostly about training for me and um, developing new feet and flexibility and strength and skills and everything. But in the last like year, two years, I've kind of had this re come back to like, yeah, what, why are we doing this? It's to uh, really like, I think, enjoy our bodies and go do um, stuff that like is inspires you um, and makes you feel alive. Uh, hopefully like with your friends, sometimes by yourself. The training opens up the options, it gives you more options to potentially have more fun, live a more enjoyable life. Like that's the way that I definitely conceive of it. And like the training, the training itself, it's not just physical. It's like a lot of, uh, there's a lot of like psychological and emotional training that that is like kind of coupled with the physical training. Like you learn a lot about yourself. Um, you learn a lot about life. It makes you more of a uh, potentially like regimented diligent person. I think the way we want to go is right where he is at. This is the way we usually go. You can come by. You can keep moving. You sure? Yeah. No, I'm just, I'm just letting everybody down a bit. <laughs> That's just kind of how it is. Yeah. <laughs> I expect Mr. Fulgichi to go by. <laughs> And it, I think those are the things that ultimately give you more freedom to feel better when, you're, when you finally like let go and you allow yourself to have the fun. Yeah, for sure. But I think like the, the point is, is that like training's not the, not the end goal. No, no. I mean, maybe it is for some people, but I think for what we're trying to do, training is the catalyst to uh, feel good in the body and to go explore, so. Um, I think it's like finding that balance and not getting too into training being your sport. But let's not go too much into training. Like, let's talk about, so I think like one of the really interesting things that we've done in like our primal athlete groups and whatnot is like we we kind of like talk about this barefoot walking, barefoot I think traversing barefoot's a, training. Barefoot's but, a vibe. 
barefoot the vibe it becomes the, the lifestyle is yeah. what we eventually like come to is it's a barefoot lifestyle which doesn't mean like hey like i'm a hippie and i never want to wear shoes but it, it's more about like if you train your feet to be strong then you know like you're going to kind of be developing like what we're talking about right now this lifestyle of like being able to explore and be natural and like not be dependent on uh technology to shoes like heavy shoes and stuff like that yeah yeah like the word that comes to mind is fear i think if you're comfortable being barefoot you're less fearful of your environment yeah because if you're yeah. if you're willing to walk around barefoot it true it, it probably means that you feel pretty comfortable where you are exactly like mentally emotionally and then also physically like you have to have strong feet <laughs> and then you have to have some thick skin for people not you know to not think oh everybody's staring at me because i'm barefoot Ooh. How's that mouthpiece treating you? Think we out of breath more. There we go. All right, go for it, dude. Okay, Dan. Don't mind if I do. But um, I think it was really interesting what I was telling you today that I heard uh, David Weck say that uh, the stronger your feet are, the less your, your nervous system is like moving into that like no fight or flight, like sympathetic. Like if you have soft feet and you step on a pebble, you're gonna be like, <gasps> and your shoulders are gonna raise and, and everything. Mm -hmm. But if you have strong feet, you're more grounded into the earth and like your energy is gonna go down, I think. and like. I think like that in itself is such a good reason to to get yourself barefoot more often, to toughen your feet, to strengthen your feet. Definitely. My feet and ankles have been feeling pretty strong yeah. since we started doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Ankles been getting stronger every week. The first day we did it, looking back on it, I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Without being able to really trust it. Yeah. Much now better. It's like, I don't really think about it too much. But you wonder how much of that is? Mental, yeah. Is mental versus physical? I think so. Be make a video. This is how you fit, fix ankles. The ankle fix. It's like a flat iron. <laughs> <laughs> Get you a plane ticket to Boulder, Colorado. You got a little buggy on your leg. Oh, oh man. It, um, it definitely seems bigger than it actually yeah. is. It's one of those. It's one of the things where I just, I'm like, no problem. But then yeah, I'm yeah. just like, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes listen to that, you know? There's no pressure. And like, kind of like what we're, what we were saying, barefoot is the kind of mindset behind a lot of what we do. That's not only barefoot. It's like exposing yeah, your, yeah. exposing your skin to the environment, right? Like yeah, rolling yeah, yeah. around in the grass. Um, Resiliency. Yeah, yeah. Like like cold water. You're, you're, you, when you're outside, like your eyes get a lot of depth. Whereas like if you're inside all the time, you're 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 not using the full depth perception of your mm. of your capabilities. And and like climbing trees allows gives you different stimuli on your hands. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. like I think it's all uh, it's all it's a vibe. Like you know, it's a lifestyle. Yeah, and I think that in the age that we're living, like it's like technology is being developed so much that you can live such a comfortable life. So I think it's like this cool kind of counterculture. Um, I mean, we're, like I'm new to Boulder, but we're we're in Boulder, Colorado, where it's actually very normal to go yeah. hike up a mountain, which is really cool. But I think in most of the US and in a lot of big cities and stuff, it's more normal to just stay in your house all day and be on your computer and watch TV. And um, I think that I feel so much healthier when I'm just getting outside every single day and uh, being in nature and breathing and whatnot. Ultimately, it comes back to 
the word comfortable. It is uncomfortable to take off your shoes. It is uncomfortable to, you know, even just potentially for some people to leave the house, <laughs> yeah. right? Like, yeah. but I think, I think that like the more often you make that choice of like, I'm gonna do something that's a little uncomfortable, that obviously the easier that becomes. And on top of it, like you start to notice that the resistance isn't, isn't real. The resistance is only inside of you. It's like once you actually initiate whatever it is that you're gonna do, once you're doing it, it's like, oh, why did I have resistance to this thing? It's actually quite, quite easy or quite enjoyable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? The thought of, the thought of climbing that flat iron over there was like pretty daunting. Mm -hmm. And then you did it once, and you're like, oh. It's actually not that crazy. It was actually quite enjoyable, and now I look forward to it. Yeah, and then you feel invigorated, and you feel more alive. Like uh, most of these things make you feel more alive, I, and that's what I notice when I'm. Sometimes when I am in the house more, when I'm watching shows more, is like I do feel there's like a comfort there, but it also like feel like a little bit more anxious. I think. To me. Well, what I was gonna say is actually like. Uh, dead is extreme but it's like the opposite of alive it's like mm. i'm kind of in the state where it's like everything's very dull you know and like um you, you also feel less in touch with yourself if you're spending a lot of time inside and i don't think this is true for everyone but i would say culturally for us if we spend a lot of time inside it probably means we're finding ways to distract ourselves mm -hmm, mm -hmm. from from reality whatever that really means but um so like watching tv even potentially reading sometimes like whatever it is you, you can distract yourself but when you go and do things where you feel alive jumping into some cold water or or just i mean even just leaving the house and going for a walk you have to really you have to get in touch with like what's going on inside of you yeah you have to be really aware a lot more aware yeah oh well i, I want to share this story i told trevor already but it was a uh, it was a month ago, almost exactly, my last day in London, and uh, I was going to the airport, and it was like I had to like catch a few uh, buses and trains to get there, and then I was like, you know what, what if I just ride the bike all the way there? I'm gonna see how much long it would take. It's an hour and 45 minutes. And I was just like, dude, I'm just gonna do it. You know, it's one of those line bikes with a little bit of electric. And I was like, this is kind of insane what I'm doing. Like, this is, ta is literally doubling my time that it's gonna take to get there. But it just happened to be like a rare sunny day in London. I come out, I'm on the River Thames, I'm like seeing Big Ben and stuff. You know, I got my big ass backpack on. And it was like one of the highlights of my trip, just because I decided to like ride my bike to the airport rather than hopping on in an uber or hopping on like the train or whatever um and yeah i think for me like that really like sums up when i choose something that's a little bit m more uncomfortable a little bit even crazy it's like dude those are experiences that you remember like we really like to travel in general and i think that there's a there's a distinction between people who like to like vacation and kind of make things easy or or truly travel you know and like go the the route less taken and like have to struggle through some of it but at the same time like we have some <laughs> we have some really dope stories to tell and like very fond memories of, of a lot of those experiences for sure i can't hate on vacations though i've had some nice little just laying no, on the beach nothing wrong with a vacation sipping a margarita type of deal so today we climbed up the second flat iron here in boulder um we took the hard way up where you have to scramble on the rocks a bit and uh, man it just felt so good to be outside <sighs> yeah just to to get that done like early in the morning like we met at you know a little before seven and did it and uh yeah i think like just just these moments man we want to share a little bit more of these moments that are some of the best in my life you know yeah for sure i think it's important to to note here that it doesn't have to be something like climbing up climbing of a mountain right these kind of feelings of aliveness can can happen in at little micro moments in your day right i think one that you and i use is like a cold shower I, anyone could do that it doesn't even have to be you know you could just turn it cold for a few seconds and like if you haven't done that before if you're not used to that man it really like 
zaps you into the moment, makes you feel super alive, makes you feel grounded. You get, you really like are aware of what's happening around you, inside of you. And, and that's exactly what a flat iron climb can do for you. But you can just kind of do it whenever. Well, it's kind of just the metaphor, climbing the mountain, doing something a bit more uncomfortable, seeing what comes from it. I think like, and, and actually on that point, like um, we decided to run down the mountain and uh, that was like, we didn't plan that at all. And it's funny, like, I don't think Mitch would mind me saying that. When I mentioned it, I was like, what if we start kind of like trotting down a little bit? Like he was like, ah, he's like, nah, that doesn't really sound that great to me. I'm feeling kind of tired. And then he was like, here, go, go in front of me. And then I, I just started to like kind of gallop like super slowly. And uh, then he started to, and then before he knew it, like we were all three like running pretty good down the mountain. And we like stopped for a second. I was like, Mitch, how you feeling? He's like, dude, I feel this, this is making me feel like super awake. Like I feel good now. So then like we just, man, we really got in a good groove coming down. We're all three like running in unison kind of. And um, yeah, like I think that just speaks to like sometimes it's just that little thing, like that little thing. A little thing brings you into the moment, makes you feel good. And on that note, I'm about to go do some pull-ups. Let's go. Let's go. So, thanks for thanks for watching. Yeah. Like the video if you liked it. Comment below. Um, let us know if you enjoy it. We're planning on doing some more of these, like the mini podcast style. I think it's quite fun. And it's quite nice to just sit down and have a chat, maybe after a hike or something like that. So. Yeah. Yeah. We'll keep it light for sure. But if you have any topics you'd like to hear us talk about, definitely let us know in the comment section. And I probably won't know anything about them, but I'll you talk. You probably won't. Keep talking. <laughs> hey, appreciate y'all. Peace.